<clears throat> couple things before we really dive into everything. Kind of waiting for the, the light to get a little better. Um, so I just want to say, you're trying it this weekend? Great. I, I want to see your look. Tag me in the picture. I love to see what you guys are doing. Before we get started, if you guys could just tell me where you're tuning in from and tell me what is your favorite makeup palette. So um, I just kind of want to know what type of makeup you guys are using right now. So tell me where you're tuning in. I know yesterday we had North Carolina in the house. Thank you for already inviting your friends. Hey Trina, thank you Tony for sharing. Philly, all the way we got Philly in the house. Who else do we have in the house? Milwaukee eye makeup. Yeah, what type of uh, eyeshadow palettes do you use? We got Brooklyn, Chicago. Where else are we at? Anybody from ATL? See if the sun is better now. Baton Rouge, nice. Oh, not yet. Cleveland. Okay, you make your own palettes. That's awesome. All right, so today we're doing a natural glam look. Uh, before we get started, thank you so much. I already see we got we got someone from New Jersey. What's up? Um, I see hearts going up already. So thank you so much for the heart party. So I'm asking all you guys to give me hearts. And how you do that is you tap the screen. And what that does is it helps me become a feature artist here on Periscope. So I would love it if all of you guys would please go ahead and send up heart. Also, um, I see some of you guys already invited your friends. What's up, Indiana? Naked palettes are my favorite. Um, I see you guys have, some of you guys have already shared with your friends. So, um, for those of you who haven't, please go ahead and, um, Tap the guy at the bottom and share with your friends so we can get more people involved in this scope because I love to see you guys involved and we can get started. Is the lighting better now? Hold on. Oh, it's still dark. Okay. So in just a few moments, the lighting will get a little bit better. I did um, this eye already and because it's dark on this side, you, probably, you guys probably can't see, but we're just keeping it very natural, very simple today, but we're going to bump it up a notch from no makeup makeup look. All right. So just so you guys know, um, what I've done already is I filled in my eyebrows, I put my moisturizer on, and I did this side eye makeup. And now we can dive into the other side, starting with our NYX primer. So NYX primer, NYX eyeshadow base, it's all the same. Um, but what it is, is it's going to, the reason why you put this on first is because it's going to stop your eyeshadow from creasing. It will also make your eyeshadow brighter. And it's just a good base to put on. And we do our eyeshadow first before we do our foundation. So this is the brush that we're going to use. It is a stiff flat brush. And not too long ago, I told you guys the difference between the different brushes. We, those who have been watching the scope since the beginning. All right, so we're just going to Do a light layer of the base, and this is in nude. Not sure if I told you guys that, but it's in nude. The next step is also using NYX, and this is called Lap Dance, is the name of this color. And we're using a fluffy flat brush. This is a fluffy flat brush. And we're going to Grab some color and just put it in the center of your eye. 
So for those of you guys who may have a smaller eye, if you put your lighter colors in the center, it opens up your eyes. So that's just food for thought for those of you who have smaller eyelids, or not smaller eyelids, smaller eyes. Gives the illusion of a brighter eye. So we're patting, and remember I told you guys why we pat? So we're patting to get the most pigmentation. And we're keeping it right in the center. So after we do that, the rest of everything I'm using is going to be out of my favorite palette by Venus. Or it's Lime Crime called Venus. And we are actually going to be using Creation. So this is Creation right here. Using the same brush, just on the opposite side. We're going to tap around where we just added the previous color. So today we're using four colors all matte. So just make sure when you're patting you get the right pigmentation that you want to see. You want to get the right vibrancy. All right. Then after we do that, we're going to take Divine, which is this color right here. And we're going to go over the next color so right in the center and we're lightly doing that I'm doing that to just kind of diffuse how bright the white is I want it to blend a little bit better into the previous color and then if you ever feel like you did a little bit too much of that you can add yes you do so if you want your eyeshadow to be brighter, you can keep on packing on color. But you always start a little bit at the top at a time so you can control the color. So next, this is a blending brush by MAC. It's in it's number 224. And we're using Icon, this color, which is my transition color for almost everything. And since it's our transition color, we always go back and forth. Good morning. Thank you for tuning in. So just back and forth, back and forth. All right, I think I can take this off now. All right, there we go. Yes, I do my eyes before my foundation and all of that because I feel like sometimes eyeshadow can get a little messy and let's say I have any, especially if I'm doing anything underneath the eye, and so it's easier to wipe off. Good morning. So that's just a personal, personal preference. You don't always have to do it that way, but that's just the way I prefer to do it is eyeshadow first and then my foundation and all of that. Okie dokie, so we've done that part. Now let's talk about this wing eyeliner that we're getting ready to do. So I'm using, I'm switching up the brush. This is an eyeliner brush, it's really thin. And I'm using my gel eyeliner black ink by who is this by Bobby Brown and when you're applying this <laughs> thank you good morning so when you're applying this when you're getting the product on this brush and you're doing a wing liner you are going to roll the product in because you want it on all sides of the brush right so you're rolling it in and you want an even distribution. So when you're rolling it, you're not really pressing into it. This is actually not from NYX, but I could I haven't tried that one. I actually bought this one, but I'm pretty sure NYX 
is good too and less expensive than when I paid for this one. Thank you for sharing that. We love to hear the inexpensive makeup because makeup can get expensive. So you guys share if you know. Yes, this kind of helps you control how much product you're putting on it and make sure that you get it on all sides. I think gel liner is better than liquid liner for beginners because uh, you can kind of control where you're putting the product. When it comes to liquid liner, you have to have a really steady hand. So make sure that, you know, if you tend to shake while you're doing this, you can actually anchor your hand. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. By using your pinky finger, putting your pinky finger here, and then putting on the product. All right, so we are aligning our eyes. <laughs> so the hardest thing to do is wing liner on camera. So I'm sorry if I'm covering. So, as you can see, I am, no, this is gel liner, so it doesn't smudge, and the brand is Bobbi Brown by, or no, Bobbi Brown is the brand, and it's Black Ink is the name. Yes, it does last all day. Okay, so let me fix this wing liner that I... So when you're doing your wing liner, it's really good to have a steady hand and to do short strokes and try to draw a straight line right away. And then let's say that you feel like you did your line too thick, you can correct it with your concealer. And then the thing about a wing liner is that you also, Um, I use an angled brush or a eyeliner brush. It really just depends on how thin I want the line to be. Because obviously with the thicker brush, you get a thicker line. Yes, foundation can stop. <laughs> Found, uh, setting powder does stop your foundation from running all over the place. Okay, we're almost there. So when you're drawing your wing liner, the other thing too is you want it to go up and not down, right? Because if you go, if you draw your wing liner down, it brings your entire face down. And if you, um, <laughs> Bishop Scotty. Um, so if you draw your wing liner up, it's going to bring your eyes up and kind of brightens the face. So make sure that when you're drawing, you're following your light, you're following your bottom water line right here. All right, so we've done that. And then if anything that we don't like, we can correct it when we go to our highlight stage using our concealer. But before we continue, we are going to put our lashes on. <laughs> yeah you know what to be honest wing liner does take time to get but you know another way you can cheat it is you can put tape there to make sure you have a sharp line you can also put on your you can hold off on the step and then when you're doing your highlight stage bring your concealer right here as like a marker almost So with my lashes, I'm using my normal glue, which is Duo by 
our duo in dark tone. And we're just gonna let it sit for a second. Liner before your falsies. You wanna have your liner before your falsies and then if you want to, you can do <laughs> You know, Chloe, you're about to get me and yourself in trouble. Um, and then you can put, then if you want to, after you put on your false lashes, then you can, you know, add more. But I think sometimes if your lashes are too thick, it will almost like hinder you from seeing where you want to place your lashes. All right, so let's place these. Start in the center first and tuck in the corners. If you go in an upward motion, you'll get closer to your lash line. And we're just gonna tuck in the corners and we're in. And push down. All right, so our lashes are on. Now let us do our face. So it's gonna be a little bit of a recap. Oh, no, these are just like inexpensive tweezers that I got from this Daiso store. I don't trim my lashes because I have big eyes. So as long as your tweezers have like, here I have different ones that are a little fancier but just the ends if you had tweezers like this as long as you have this it has this flat piece you can push down so just use the opposite end of the tweezers and push down sometimes people will keep the tweezers closed and push down it, it's really your preference but I like to use the opposite side so let's prime the other side of the face and then put the foundation on No, I'm not lining the bottom, but that is just, I have, yes, if the glue gets messy, I would wait for it to dry, peel it off, and start over because you just need a thin liner. If you have smaller eyes, really you're supposed to tailor the wing liner to your look. So what that means is as long as you met you'll have to map it out so what i'm saying is for instance like you'll do your own bottom line right here that's where you know the liner should go up right and then you always want to start from small gradually get larger so a thin line then slightly larger then get get even more lighter right here and then you draw it out as far as you want so you can tailor it to your eyes right so if you have smaller eyes you don't want your line to be super thick with your wing liner you want to make sure that you do a thinner one but still make it get gradually larger but still thinner so you can tailor your wing liner to yourself what I will say when you're doing it Yay! I'm glad you went there. They're good. They know what they're doing. Um, as long as you start from the middle first, so you know how thick you want it, and then before you add any product, maybe start in your corner and thin line, Make sure, making sure it's in your water line, and then add a little bit more product and then go out. That should help you, but it's going to take practice. So it really doesn't matter the shape of your eyes. You'll just have to tailor it to you. All right, so where were we at? We primed our face. So I'm going to my Mary Kay foundation in bronze 607, switching it up today. And where's my Oh Wow brush? Okay, and using my Oh Wow brush. Oh, yes, I didn't finish answering that question. It's really a perfect personal preference normally my daily makeup I don't do bottom liner but when I'm doing um, if I'm going out somewhere or you know trying to be fancy then I will do my bottom liner so it's just a personal preference for myself yay you bought a kabuki brush over the weekend let me know how you like it Yeah, let me know. I love when you guys tell me what you have purchased and when you guys show me the looks you're doing. I love that. So any looks that you guys do, tag me, please. I want to see. 
And then if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, feel free to send them to DeandraGiselle at gmail.com. Thanks, babe. And then I still see the heart party going on, so I appreciate you guys for showing love and helping me become a, a featured artist here on Periscope. So please continue to do that. <laughs> Uh, most of the time, I don't do white on my bottom lid because in my waterline, and I'll tell you why. Usually, when you do white, it opens up your eyes more because it's giving the illusion of a bigger eye. So for me, because my eyes are already rather on the larger side, I don't want that to look even brighter. Exactly. So I don't do white underneath my eyes, but I have done it for somebody who has smaller eyes. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's why I don't do it, but you can. <laughs> so using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW35. And you guys, even though we're slowly wrapping up, you guys feel free to still share with your friends. They could probably catch the replay. So the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer is what I've been using lately, and I'm absolutely in love with it. However, the only thing I have to say is that I am not a fan of the packaging because a little of this concealer goes a long way and it seems like it only allows you to get like a large amount out. So that's my only complaint about that is that the actual packaging. So I end up wiping out uh, off the rest, not even using all of it. Oh yes, I do whatever works and I have people ask me to give reviews on products and I, I will give reviews just as long as they know they're going to be honest reviews. So if I don't really like how something works, then I'll let you guys know. I'm talking about this one right here, this um, concealer. I hate the pump, I really do because I waste so much product. Because this was one pump, one slight pump, and I'm not even going to use all this. I'm going to end up wiping it off. And as you guys know, MAC is not cheap. That is probably their plan. So we're highlighting now. We're in the highlight stage. And we are going to... How do you find your best concealer shade? Well, first you have to find your foundation shade and then it has to be two to three shades lighter than that. <laughs> Scotty, you're gonna be a pro by the end of this. Scotty's gonna know how to do everyone's makeup after watching all these scopes and YouTubes. <laughs> Don't tell that lie. Do not tell that lie. Alrighty. So now let's talk about eyebrows. So highlighting the brows. So it's been a while. It's time for me. Yes. Yeah, so even though this, I think it's more of the lighting. I think it's more of the lighting. This is actually a warm tone of um, concealer so it may look pretty bright right now but once you blend it in it'll be good so that's why your concealer is supposed to be two to three shades lighter and then it should also be um, it should also be in the same tonage so if you're warm toned your concealer should be warm toned but two to three shades lighter in that tone so you still should have the same tone So, because it's really time for me to get my eyebrows done, this stage is very important. It is hiding the fact that I need to get my eyebrows reshaped. All 
okay you can't tell you when I get it done you guys will be able to tell that the difference like my eyebrows are getting a little too thick yes I can show you the brush let me just finish this is called a stiff flat brush it's on the larger side no you don't because <clears throat> I really have like one brow and work hard to make it too So this is highlighting the brow and correcting any mistakes that you may have done while filling it in. And then we will blend it all in. Okay, so this is a... Yes, but remember your eyebrows are supposed to be sisters and not twins. So if they're not perfect, it's fine. So this is a flat stiff brush and this is from Coastal Sense out of their 22 piece um, set. And I wanna say that 22 piece set is around maybe 20 bucks. I might be quoting them high. But look on eBay first. And we're using a beauty blender and we're tapping and blending away any harsh lines. That's about right, okay, perfect which is still a good price. You got your brushes on Amazon? How do you prevent makeup coming on from other people or clothes? That's a great question. So, how you do that is, even though these steps may seem lengthy, but that's how you do it. So, putting on your primer first, like putting the primer on before you put your foundation, that is kind of what makes your foundation stick to your face, right? So, that's why you should put your primer on. And then setting it actually sets your foundation in place. So, those things help keep your makeup on your face and not on other people. Obviously, if you rub somebody, it, it still is going to come off, but it keeps it from coming off as easy. I was going to say, um, I didn't see who said that, but these are a lot of steps, but only because I'm slowing down and talking to you guys and doing things. Like when I do my own makeup, it really doesn't take me that long. And sometimes I do skip, like if I just want to do my foundation, I'll do the no makeup makeup look. And that takes me about five, five to 10 minutes when I do the no makeup makeup look. But generally doing my makeup takes me if i'm trying to be super glammed up uh, i want to say doing my makeup can take me anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes but that's when i'm trying to be super glammed up my daily face which most of the time doesn't include eyeshadow it can be like 10 minutes it just depends <clears throat> so let's set our stuff Okay, so we're going to use our translucent powder in our highlighted areas. Talked about that yesterday. And when you do that, you let it sit. Hey, babe, how am I doing on time? Hey, go ahead, Chloe. 20 minutes without notes. That's <laughs> Go ahead. Chloe has been really awesome. She's been tagging me in her pictures and she's been serving it in the makeup so go ahead chloe i am so proud of everything that you've been doing five minutes okay thank you All right, you guys, so I have five minutes to wrap this on up. Before I go, if you guys wouldn't mind continuing that heart party, that would be great to help me become a feature artist here on Periscope. So right now, I am using my banana powder by Ben Nye, using a light layer and wiping it, not wiping it, setting my foundation using a fluffy brush. The next step is our contour, which can be done very quickly. I remember I told you guys I can't hold it up because it's broken, but it's from uh, City Color, Color Effects, using the contour, the dark brown tone.
and we're just going to go ahead and define those cheekbones. Stopping two fingers width away from the mouth. Don't go any further than that because what happens is um, it just starts looking a little weird. And around the hairline. And this also brings warmth back into your skin. And this makes your face look slimmer going underneath here. And I'll do a light contour on the nose. So just whatever was on the brush I just added to the nose. And we're going to use the bronze color and ooh, that was a lot. And blend it in. All right. And last but not least, let's do the blush and highlight and we're good to go. Today I am going to do a nude lip. And the reason why I'm keeping it nude is because we want a natural glam look. So I'm actually just going to be doing my tinted gloss for today. The blush I'm using is by NYX. It's called Bronze. And I'm using this um, blush brush. It's a flat one. And patting the color on first and then we'll blend it in. So next week, you guys, I'm doing something called a pop of color series. And what I want to do is show you guys how to use color throughout your daily makeup application without it feeling like it's too much. And um, so I'll be doing different pops of color throughout the week. So, you know, one week we'll do a liner. The next week we'll be doing, or not the next week, the next day we'll do a pop of lips. Um, then in our eyeshadow, all of that. So I really want you guys to tune in. It will be starting on Monday. And if you guys have any topics or questions, feel free to email them to me at DeandraGiselle at gmail.com. And then follow me on all social media so you guys can see the final look, which will be posted on my Instagram and on Facebook. And let's do our highlight and we are ready to go. Thank you for tuning in, I appreciate you. So we're using a fan brush that is very, it's not dense. Oh, thank you. I love that you guys interact. That That's what makes it a lot easier. It um, helps me to know that you guys are watching and understanding, it just, it helps. So I love that you guys, one, tune in, that you guys ask questions, you guys send topics, and I love the heart party that's going on right now. I appreciate it. All right, so that is the gist of our look for today, our natural glam look. This is a wearable look that you can do every day. I promise you guys, once you get the hang of it, you'll probably take about anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes to do. It may seem impossible now. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe, for your hashtag. Deandra taught me. Thank you. So, you know, don't be overwhelmed in the beginning. As you start doing it, it gets quicker and quicker and quicker. This final look will be on Instagram and on Facebook. So see, you guys can see that. If you guys do this look, you can tag me on Facebook or Instagram. Or you can send it to me personal, personally at DeandraGiselle at gmail.com. We will be here on Periscope Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please tune in throughout the weeks if you have any topics. No, I haven't, but my lips will be a tinted lip gloss, um, so it will pretty much look like this, but tint with um, a little bit more, a tinted nude lip gloss. <laughs> okay, Chloe, I can't wait to see your look. So, um, also, you know, I have more tutorials on my YouTube channel. If you guys missed any of the tutorials throughout the week, they are posted on my YouTube channel, Deandra Giselle. And I know the it can be long, but you guys can rewind and fast forward through whatever you want. So that's why I post it on YouTube. Also, um, I think I'm forgetting something. Yes, I'm forgetting that we are getting ready to do a Love Yourself conference in the Atlanta area with 
um, Miss Kev on stage, Dana, and Optimistic Divorcees, Shari and Sharice. So if you guys have any topics or are interested in going and ready to get more information, you can email loveyourselfconference at gmail.com. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you missed it, catch the replay. And it will also uh, be posted on my YouTube channel, Deandra Giselle. Thank you so much. You'll be there. Yay! Um, thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. I'll see you guys Monday, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You guys have a great day. Bye, guys.